you so much. <coughs> okay, I fucked it up. So today I'm going to show you three games I have in my very extensive library of games. Um, yeah, let's go. The first game we're going through is... Bob's Gold! Which I bought in the roguelike section of Steam. Despite it not being a roguelike at all, because there's nothing randomized here. And the only thing remotely like a roguelike is that you have to start at the beginning when you die. Which is also not true, because you can restart uh, after every boss you have successfully fought. There is uh, quite a big bug when you die or lose all your lives and you have to restart your run because you're shit and nobody loves you. So you look at the UI and see that some parts are missing. So where are these parts? Well, let me show you. They are up here. This happens every time you die and restart your run. At least in full screen. Other than that, you try to kill four bosses and get your Bard's gold back. Movement is a bit slow, the attacks are a bit weak, you have to basically spam fire every single enemy in the game. The upgrades you can buy in between runs are basically useless. And tell me when this music gets annoying. So the music is not great either. You constantly have to do these jump attacks and together with uh, the slow movement it just doesn't feel good. So you unlock different upgrades by killing bosses or just finding them in the world. But if you finish the game by beating the final boss there's not much to go back to. So all in all, I don't recommend this game. Next! So this one I like much better. This is... Shaolin vs. Wu-Tang. Which is a game based on martial art movies. Especially those old Chinese Kung Fu movies. And so you have characters like... Drunken Master Jackie Chan. IP Man. The evil guy from Snake and the Eagle's Shadow. This guy. Bruce Lee's cousin. The drunken master in Jackie Chan's drunken master. And a ninja. So purely objectively I shouldn't like this game, but god damn that setting. I mean the animations can get pretty awkward. Uh, the music is a bit too loud and some of the levels look like shit. But I honestly don't care. I mean, who cares when I have fun with fighting Bruce Lee against the guy from Born Invincible? If you don't like that setting, of course, then it's a mediocre fighting game, but, but if you are into Kung Fu movies, holy shit is this great. I mean, it's an early access. Changes will be made. There will be more fighters, probably. More stages. Maybe they, they update the graphics. Who knows? I mean, I hope they address some issues, like these super special moves you can do, which basically do absolutely nothing in damage. And you have to press very, very precisely to even do. Also, it is a bit hard to discern when an enemy is blocking. Because instead of, you know, just blocking the hit, uh, they do these evasion moves that you can't really get a grasp on. If they're fixing all that, I will love the game to death. I want to see this game on EVO. Yes, Shaolin vs. Wu-Tang for EVO 2019. 
next game. Now we calm down again and look at the BAFTA award winning which is a puzzle game. You have these four spaces in which you push stuff around or move inside of these certain tiles in order to finish the puzzles. The overarching objective is to uh, find fruit, five different colored fruit. So basically this is a game about assembling a magic fruit bowl. So you can pull tiles from other tiles and create new tiles or combine two together to make one that makes sense or every kind of combination is possible. And it all works on this dreamlike logic. There's not a single word spoken. It is all silent, everything you need to know is made in thought bubbles. Which makes this game ripe to interpret, because it doesn't tell you what anything means. There is this giant colorful creature seemingly stalking you and is central apparently to the plot, but it doesn't tell you what it all means. And I'd say that's part of the beauty of it. It is one of those games you play in one afternoon for 90 minutes and you're done. You have experienced the game and can move on with your life. Even though this game is 90 minutes long, uh, it costs 15 bucks, which is a bit steep. But this will go down eventually, at least in some steam sale. So yeah, I recommend this one. So this was a tiny, tiny overview of three games I played recently. I will do this more often. And I hope you have a nice day.